hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can optimize a mumu player 12 for your pc since it is an emulator there are a lot of settings to optimize so in this video i'm gonna be guiding all of the best window settings as well as the best mumu player settings to optimize your performance so without wasting any more time let's get started with the video Alright, first things first is the best Mumu player settings. So once you have opened up your player, you have to head over to these three dots over here and then head over to its settings. Right over here for the performance settings, the graphic card rendering mode should be set to Vulkan because it is high performance rendering mode and it is an exclusive rendering mode. However, you can also try with DirectX mode which utilizes your graphic card over your CPU to render the games. But in case of an emulator, we need a lot of CPU performance. So Vulkan would be your best choice over here. Next is the performance configuration in which I have set it to custom settings. Then for the CPU, you have to check how many CPUs do you have. I have 32 CPUs on my processor. So the general thumb rule is you should use half or one fourth of your processor. So if you guys have less than 12 cores, go with half. For example, if you have a 12 core processor, go with six. If you have a four core processor, go with two. If you have a six core processor, go with three. But if you have anything other than that, you should use the one fourth principle. So open up your calculator. And using this principle, I have 32 cores on my processor. I simply divide it by four and eight is the number that I have to use. So for the CPU, select eight over here. But if this gives you any problem, you can increase it as well. I personally like to use use 12 because my pc can handle that if you guys have eight core processor what you have to do is simply divide eight by two because less than 12 cores you have to divide it by two and more than 12 cores you have to divide it by four after that you have to choose your ram over here for that you have to open up your calculator once again and find out the ram that you have on your pc i have 32 gb ram installed on my pc and to know that you can simply search for system information and then look for the installed physical memory over here what you guys have to do is simply divide this thing by four as well and use it in the running memory anything under 16 you have to divide it by two and anything over 16 you have to divide it by four i would recommend you guys to use at least 8 gb ram if you have anything above 16 gb ram so I've selected it over here for the graphics memory usage strategy you guys can use automatic tuning then under the other section you have to click on this option which is forced use of discrete graphics card this will utilize your main hardware graphic card instead of your CPU based graphics then under the display settings for the resolution scaling you have to select mobile mode and select 1080 by 1920 with 480 dpi over here then scroll a bit down and find screen setting i have set the brightness to 60. for the screen style you guys can go with common over here for the maximum frame rate limit set it all the way to the max then for the display frame rate enable that Disable both of these options that are dynamically adjust frame rate and vertical synchronization. And for the screen rotation, you have to turn this thing on. For the window position, set the first option on. And for the tab mode, enable multi-tab mode. Then under the disk settings, you have to click on the clean up immediately button over here and then click on clean up now. This will help you organize the space and improve the performance. Then for disk sharing, always use read-only system disk. For the disk size, I have set this thing to 125 GB, but you guys can slide it all the way down to anywhere you feel is good for your emulator that should be above 16 GB. Then for your audio settings, system sound, you have to uncheck close system sound and select your native microphone and speaker. Then you guys can set some shortcut keys according to yourself and then for the model, use preset and then for the mobile brand use samsung mobile model should be galaxy s20 fe after that you guys can use any random imi code you guys can select the random button over here to do that as well and for the gpu model select preset and then click on high configuration once that is done for the network settings you have to disable network bridge mode and disable keep running in the background disable root permissions and enable all four of these options over here Disable operation constraints and for the ADB debug, enable local connection. Once that is done, click on save settings and now you guys have to perform the best Windows settings. First thing first, head over to the settings on your PC and then head over to gaming. Then go over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, it consumes a lot of CPU usage 
and GPU usage in the background. After that, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on, which will help you to reduce the number of notifications popping up between your games, ruining your game experience. Then under the related settings, click on graphics and then optimizations for windowed games should be turned on to reduce input latency. And then under the advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This will help you to utilize your graphic card for every game. Once that is done, click on the add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of Moomoo Moo Player. If you guys are unaware of it, simply search for Moomoo Moo Player and then click on open file location. Then right click on this and then click on open file location once again and then simply copy this file directory. Paste it right over here and then go down and find the moomooplayer.exe. Click on the add button and once that is added, scroll a bit down until you find that. Select it and for the GPU preference, select high performance. This will disable all kind of power saving features and then optimizations of windowed games should be turned on. Once all of that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is setting up your virtual memory. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then click on the advanced settings over here. Then for the processor scheduling, select programs and under the virtual memory, you'll find the change button. Deselect automatically manage paging file size and select your local disk C. Click on custom size and then for the initial size, set this thing to 1361. This value is experimental and I have gotten it by rigorous trial and error. This is one of the best values that I have found out for all RAMs. Then for the maximum size, you have to open up your calculator once again. And once you're over here, simply divide your RAM by 2 and multiply this value with 1024. This is basically half of your total memory in megabytes. Simply copy this new value and paste it under the maximum size over here. And once that is done, click on the set button. After that, click on OK and then click on apply. And this is how you optimally set virtual memory for gaming. Next is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Moomoo just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply close system properties. Next step is the Moomoo Play optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in 5 very simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD as well as Intel CPU priority. You can apply it according to your processor and it will help you to optimize the D word value for your processor to achieve maximum performance and improve in-game experience. Next is RAM optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC, you can apply it. And once again I have 32GB RAM so I need to apply this one. Simply double click to apply it. And in case of any issues, you can always reset it back to default using this registry over here. Third one is Moomoo player priority in which I have left all of these priorities. You need to apply one from this and you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless for your PC and disabling them will help you to optimize the performance of your PC drastically. You guys can simply double click and disable every single one of them and ensure that you get maximum performance. Now in case you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two as it is. And in case of any issues, head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable all of them back again. Last is the useful programs folder in which I have left one single program that is process lasso. This will help you to optimize your CPU. Simply right click and run it as administrator and this will install process lasso on your PC. Then open process lasso. Once it opens up, you need to ensure that Moomoo Moo Player is running in the background. Simply open it up and minimize it. Then in the active processes tab, you have to find Moomoo Moo Player. Press M on your keyboard to find it. Once you find it, here is the application, Moomoo Moo VMM Headless. Simply right click on that and then head over to CPU priority. Then click on current and select high. After that, right click on it once again and then head over to CPU affinity. Go over to current and try disabling CPU zero. In most cases, this will help you to improve your FPS and reduce stuttering and black screen issues. But if it doesn't help you guys, simply enable CPU zero back again. Last is the power profile. You will see none over here, but you have to change it to high performance or ultimate performance if that is available for you. And once that is done, you guys now have allocated all of your CPU and its priorities to run Moomoo VMM Headless, that is Moomoo Moo Player, which will in turn help you to optimize the performance and ensure a smoother gameplay experience. Once all of that is done, you guys can close Process Lasso as well as the FPS pack and enjoy Moomoo Moo Player with the best FPS and smoothest performance available. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. I have made this video on a lot of requests, so a like would be appreciated. 
We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and guess what? Subscription is free but it really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome guides and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.